Alright guys, it has been a minute since I have done a best of all ranges video. If you guys don't know what that is, basically throughout the year, about every 15 to 20 days, I'll give you guys a video based on the best cards, in my opinion, um, for each price range to try and uh, kind of help everyone from all, you know, depending on how many coins you've got in hut uh, to try and build some players and go after some guys because it can be kind of uh, daunting when you were first new uh, brought into hut so uh, here we'll start with the zero to twenty five thousand coin price range so this is these are gonna be cards uh, that you want to go after you know right after you start the game you know you get your first you get your first few guys um, from you know you, you win a couple games maybe you Packed and rivals, you got a pull, and you know, you've sold some guys. So these are the ones that you want to look for. So the first one that we are going to go with, look at, is uh, the Connor McDavid. He's now going for about twenty-three thousand coins, uh, and for a base card, still one of the better cards uh, for you right when you get the game. His end game speed basically already at ninety-six speed, ninety-seven agility and acceleration. Then he's got mid eighty shot, high you know high eighties to low nineties hand stats. Offensive awareness is 91. This is one of the better 87 to 90 cards still in the game, and he was out at launch. So if you are able to get him, he would be the first one I would go after. Uh, you really you can't use him on on center even at you know the early on in the game the 81 faceoff, but uh, would be a very very good left handed winger card and someone you should definitely target under 25,000 coins. Next up, we've got the 86 overall winner national Yannick Weber. So 96 speed across the board, high nine or high 80s shot power, 79 accuracy. So you can't really um, you know beg and choose at this kind of stage, but with the 90 shot power, it's not bad. Uh, it's got 83 passing. Stick checking is 84, off defensive awareness is 89, 85. Uh, the fact that he's got good speed and he's just under what you want at 5'11", 200. You want around 6 uh, six foot, but 2 to 1 T is very good for synergies, and he's right-handed. There's not a lot of good right-handed defenseman cards early on in the game, even now, but or at the high end. But nonetheless, he would be uh, the next guy, and he's going for about 24,000 coins, definite buy early on. And then lastly is the 86 heavy hitter, Siron Noel. He's going for just under 25k. Kind of a rarer card, but 6'6", 216, and right-handed. Really good early on in the game. He's got that kind of size that can compete no matter what. The fact that he's got 99 skating is just an added bonus. 92 shot power, 80 accuracy. Hand stats are rough, but he's got that 95 body checking. This is a great card early on. You can probably get away with using him for quite some time before he, you replace him. Up next in the 25 to 50k bucket, we've got Dominic Box 61181, 99 skating, 99 slap shot power, and wrist shot power. The accuracy, again, is going to suffer. Faceoffs at 87. This is a fantastic card early on body checking at 86 as well. Offensive awareness in the mid 80s. A great price currently. You can grab them for about 41,000 coins. This is a great first upgrade at your center position. After him, we've got the 87 overall, Eric Catellus, 87 overall, left defenseman, 6'1", 194, 99, or 98 skating across the board, 92 slap shot power with 81 accuracy. The 80 hand stats is a little rough, uh, but the stick checking at 87, his decent size, uh, and that speed along with the slap shot power, very, very good option. You can get him for about 35,000 coins, which is a great value. And finally, in the 25 to 50k bucket, we've got the 87 overall Trevor Park. 6'3", 216, big boy, 98 skating, uh, fantastic balance as well. 89 slap shot power and wrist shot power, 80 accuracy. Again, the accuracy stats are what suffers, but he's got 91 to body checking. Uh, his awareness stats are a little rough, but his size combined with his speed again makes him super valuable. And for about under 30k, extremely good value. All right, moving on to the 50 to 100K bucket, we've got the 90 overall Kevin Hayes. Again, another theme here at the end stage of the game, there's so many gigantic players, and the way the game plays this year, you really need to take advantage of that as it's so hard to bump players off the puck. 6'5", 217 makes him one of the best. 97 skating uh, as well as 99 balance, uh, 90 shot basically across the board. Hand stats about high 80s, body checking 89, and then faceoffs at 90 make him a great center uh, for that. That kind of mid to late end game team um just again based on his size and speed alone fantastic card and you can get him for about seventy nine thousand coins just great value 
After that, we've got the 90 overall, Philip Ronick from Winter National event. Still so good. Uh, six foot 169, so he's a little light, but he is right-handed, which is just an added bonus. There's not very many. Speed is in the high 90. Shot, again, is very good. 90 power, 84 accuracy. Hand stats in the mid-80s. Body checking, 88. Defensive awareness at 90. Stick checking at 90. Uh, you can grab him for about 85,000 coins. Really good value at this stage in the game. And then lastly, we've got the 90 overall Jeff Carter, 6'3", 217. You could go with the trade deadline or the flashback version. They're going between 75 and 80K, uh, 99 skating essentially with high 80s uh, slap shot and wrist shot. Hand stats all 88, um, you know, face-offs 92, 6'3", 217. Great card, guys. On to the 100 to 200,000 coin bucket, we've got the 91 Anthony Duclair going for about 150,000 coins, 99 speed acceleration and agility, 90 um, shot across the board, 90 hand stats with 93 deking, uh, 90 offensive awareness, great card and really good to just straight line with at this stage. He's not you know terribly uh, small at 5'11", 192, great card and again for under 150, awesome value. Next up, we've got the winner national Connor McMichael. It's crazy how this card has just kind of held its value, but now it's fallen under 200k. 91 overall, 99 speed, acceleration, and agility, 99 slap shot and wrist shot power, 87 hand stats, 95 face off, going for about 180k. Um, you know, just all that combined, still a super good value, even though he did come out, you know, about two months ago. Um, you know, just a really, really good card. And then lastly is the 88 flashback Taylor Doherty. 6'8", 235, 95 speed acceleration agility with 99 balance, 97 body checking, and 95 slap shot power. This card is insane to use. Stick checking is an 89. Um, you can get them right now for under 130,000 coins. Kind of a must in my opinion just because, you know, you're able to deny zone entries with him. He's gigantic. His speed is great, and his slap shot is fantastic as well. I've used him for a really long time, uh, and you know, just a really, really good card. All right, on to the 200,000 to the unlimited uh, bucket. We're going to start with the 90 overall Tyler Myers. So just like I said about the Taylor Doherty card, this is the upgraded version. 99 speed, acceleration, agility at 95, 99 endurance, 87 puck control with that, or 99 balance with that 87 puck control makes it even harder for him to get knocked off the puck. 94 slap shot power. Um, you know, just again, offensive defensive awareness are much better than Taylor Doherty, which is super important. Stick checking 93. He's currently my second line right defenseman, and uh, I probably have the best team on PlayStation. He's a fantastic card to use because of his speed, shot, and, and size. For under 200, um, you know, just around 200K, awesome buy. Awesome buy, guys. Next up, we've got for around 200,000 coins as well, the 92 flashback Nathan Horton, 6'2", 229. Great size. 2 to X, doesn't really need it though. Uh, and 2 to FB with 99 skating across the board. 93 slap shot power, 89 accuracy, 91 hand stats. Um, his awareness is a little rough. Uh, stick checking 97 uh, very 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 good card um the awareness stats is a little rough but when you combine if you play manual defense you're in really good shape but that uh that 99 speed and wrist shot combined with the hand stats for 200k sign me up and lastly, for again 200k, these are just value buys that I like. 91 Barrett Hayton, 2 to 1 T, 2 to AD, 99 speed, acceleration, agility, high uh, high 80s accuracy, 93 power, 89 across the board for hand stats, 89 offensive awareness, 92 faceoffs. Just again, guys, these are great buys for the price that they are. And uh, yeah, just I would grab him if I was looking for a center, uh, kind of getting into that end game level stats. So, guys, that is going to do it again for uh, the best of all ranges for February 22nd. If you guys want to see my team real quick, like I said, I think I have the best team on PlayStation. Uh, but right now, here it is, and uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, although I am kind of uh, bored at the stage. I don't know who to go after and who to chase. Uh, but, again, I do really like this Tyler Myers card. has been awesome to use. Um, so just keep that in mind, guys. I hope you guys like the content. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow.